I'm at Grace Church Road. I went to Waynesboro to bring this man down to this address. And now he's trying to force his way into a house. I'm afraid to move my vehicle. In there. It's inside the house now? Yeah. Do you have your doors locked? It's open. I'm in a van. You need yeah. to make yourself safe, okay? Even if you've got to drive away from there to get away from him and close that and lock that door. Do that for me now, please. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Hey, everyone. Yet again. Hey. Um, and I'm sporting my new background for me and obviously uh lewis and adam are with their avatars i'll be right um, there i mean so, I'll make it. yeah let's turn this up actually for a second here there we go okay that's right let's get a drink first anyways so we just come out of uh uh talking with the uh, just asked Lewis and Sunny thing, and we were talking for a bit, and we decided that we'll do a live and uh, bring on Lewis here, and we'll talk about Delphi, and we're going to talk about the shooting that's going on in Lawrence, Indiana, um, that happened tonight as well, and we'll just show you some footage of that for anyone that uh, doesn't know about that that's going on, and um, Lewis, you were reading it. Um, there was, there was, um, sorry guys. Um, actually, hold on. Let I can me, give you a rundown if you need me to. Give me a, give me, yeah, just in a second. Let me, you know what? Let me sure. do my, let me do my hellos first. I'm, sure. I'm totally being rude and forgetting about that. Um, <laughs> so welcome Lewis to the live. And of course, um, Adam over there, uh, is, will be joining us in a second on cam and yep. hello, Heather. And there's Lewis. Hello everyone. Hi, Dave Dean. How are you? Um, Oh, there's support with Stefa. Hey, Stefa. You are on fire. Going to fall asleep to y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, Stefa, you should never fall asleep during a fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's 30 people in chat. If you guys could make sure that you do hit that like and that share for us. Uh, you guys keep me company, too, for my birthday. Wait, when's your birthday? In 35 minutes. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, it's, it's already your, it's already oh, your party holder where really? I live. It's the eleventh. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So, <laughs> if, you, if you are a channel member, you have to hit the little party favor that I left in there, especially for birthdays. Oh my right. goodness, Lewis, I'm so sorry. For what? Because um, I literally forgot. But it's um, not the eleventh, so you, you can't. It is here. It's your birth. You're already older where I live. It's so see, here. Adam forgot because he he's further in the future. So we got to blame Adam, but not Sunny yet. I know. <laughs> that to that but still thank you for telling me um happy birthday lewis deb says thank I you as soon as i came in thank you so much um yeah it's already birthday in ohio absolutely we're, um, we're kind of used to birthdays happening in july so it's really difficult for us to remember when they happen in other months <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know I, I mean i had this uh great um you know, pole dancer lined up for you, but you know, I, I just don't believe it would be appropriate to show it on the live stream here. Um, I don't know if Tony Klein's in a position to dance right now. If what? Tony oh. Klein's in a position to dance right now. Yeah. He's doing the one step instead of the two step. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, um, again, thank you, everyone. Uh, there's 33 people in here. Hey, WL22. Um, again, really, really do need you guys' help with those likes and shares, sharing the video to social media if you can for us. Really, truly just asking for your help to get this algorithm back up. Um, it's so frustrating that there's all these little quirks and things and uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, but anyways, uh, oh, was he? Um, yeah, he was. Okay. Alleg allegedly. Allegedly. Um, when did this happen? Um, oh 
one second here. Uh, just checking. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I didn't know he was. Um, and if it's true, then obviously, um, hope he's okay regardless. And hi, anyone I missed? Yeah, <laughs> Sharon on there. So, uh, so Lewis, yeah. So again, I'm, how do you... I've heard I've heard that I've heard I've heard, I've heard that that whole accident thing is is actually may, possibly not true, so I'm not sure. Well, what's wife Lilith doing? Come on. Well, because yeah, I mean, I I can't say where I came where I came from, but someone was saying that he was in surgery. Um, it sounds like the whole accident thing is another bullshit lie from Fat Boy and and um someone else. Was at the house that someone said his it, Tony's truck was at the house last night. Mm. Well, let me put it this way: if he was, hopefully he's okay. Mm -hmm. If he's not, then it won't matter either way. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so again, um, apparently there is this shooting that went on tonight in Lawrence, um, um, Indiana, and uh, so Lewis, just give us a brief rundown of what. You had read recently. A few hours ago, they were serving a, a warrant on a, a person at a house in Lawrence, Indiana, and, and they've had gunfire at that house before, it said. Uh, Lawrence is just east of Indianapolis and just south of Fishers, so not, not too far from Indianapolis. And uh, when they went to serve the warrant, one of the two people in the house went out the back door and shot one of the officers in their leg. It was non-life-threatening, but the officer was down, and uh, they wound up shooting the person, and uh, unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Um, but that was, I said about three hours ago, I think, without doing the math in my head. Um, so it, it was an actor, active shooter scenario, and the other person was taken into custody with some injuries. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, being that you just had another active shooter in Indianapolis back in, I believe it was June or July at the mall, it uh, it, it puts the red flags up when you've got people under fire down there. And uh Kind of a scary situation when it pops up yeah absolutely <clears throat> um yeah i have a clip here that i can play um do you want me to do that first you guys yeah let's let's listen to that clip because i i didn't listen to it earlier i just watched a little bit sure. of it. yeah okay so to guess I'll, okay. I'll pop it back up and uh we'll watch this it's i think a shot was fired my officer was okay. There we go. Um, yeah. Uh, I felt really bad. Well, I mean, I feel bad regardless, but I felt really bad when the police officer is like, look, we're just, we're here to protect and serve. And what and honestly goes through my mind is just the lack of sometimes respect. And, but, you know, obviously a criminal is a criminal. Um, and some some of them are not going to want to go easy and stuff like that. But, you know, um, when you think of when they talked about it, like Doug Carter and the different ones, like, you know, how their um, academy or whatever would have like typically like 70 something people. And it had, you know, like a portion of that. Um, and it's just stuff like that. And, and I think you hear that everywhere because people are afraid, you know, um, to become police officers and that nowadays because of really um uh, just what's right. out there nowadays and the lack of respect for the people in the uniform and it's and it's truly sad um i mean we see it all the time even the lack of respect as people are filming just trying to get their moment on on their phone trying to instigate a police officer you know again right. it, it's just like a it becomes, it's like a free-for-all you know of just people thinking that they can just do what they want when they want and whatever. And I, and I feel bad for them, but anyways, um, I mean, when I show up, when I show up at the bachelorette party wearing my uniform officers, my, my officer uniform, no yeah. one takes me seriously. I don't get it. I don't get why Adam Lewis, can you expand on that? Okay. So Lewis, not. It's, not until I take my nights, it's not until I take my nightstick out that they really, really do pay attention. I think it's because his handcuffs are made out of bubble gum. So it's kind of hard to, you know. 
is it is it pink? Do you probably? I, I heard that the pink fuzzy ones that you know that they respond <laughs> that women respond more they respond better to the to the pink fuzzy ones. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. domestic divorce, yeah. So I mean, I'm this is I mean the only time I've done this was at Lisa's party. Oh, I got to turn this down. <laughs> I had it on max because of that. The first one that was playing was so low. I had to turn my thing up to a hundred just to hear it. Um, but yeah, you know what, Adam? I don't think anyone would want to shoot you in the leg, though. Definitely, no. I don't think that that's going to happen. Right. But, but at least that officer um, is okay um, and is you know going to be fine, not life threatening wounds. Um, again. You know, amen to that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, D uh, Adam said that Deb was talking about it in and that and who dis were talking about it in the crime and shame chat in Messenger or whatever um, about it going on. So we just took a quick ooh, learning about it ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. And again, another another sad situation. But I mean, uh, like I said, so one suspect obviously has passed, and the other one. You know, there was two of them apparently, right? Um, yeah, and I, I believe they were in. I, I believe they were both in their in the vehicles. Yeah. So were they? You know, were they shooting from the vehicles or? No, they they were in the house. No, they were in the house. They were in the house. Okay, because I because yeah. you know I guess initial reports can always be off, but the initial yeah. report I'd read said that you know they, that there were two, that that they were in that two people were deceased in a vehicle. So, you know, that could have just been an initial report. I feel like Adam's stuttering because he's still thinking about it himself in that police uniform. And then <laughs> Heather here is trying to avoid the real question, which is, uh, can we get a dance for Lewis's birthday? <laughs> Lewis has specifically requested that I not do that. You know, I know. We, we'd like Lewis to stay in his seat, not get well, old. We still, we still have Adam's dance video on tape, don't we? At the door. <laughs> Plus, I prefer my. I think my dance skills deserve two eyes on me, not just one. <laughs> okay, sorry, Lewis. Only joke I'll make. Uh, wow. It's that your was, birthday post. That was good. That was good. Um, not nine forty here. Sorry, Lewis. I'll be in bed by the time. I'll probably no, probably not. To be honest with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Alexa had hers on January 4th. My son's was January 4th. And Lewis is a Capricorn himself. And again, January 11th. So make sure you guys, right. if you are a member, there's a, there's a little blower thing still that's in the um, emoticons or the birthday cakes that are in the regular stuff. So <laughs> um, throughout the night, you guys, make sure you wish Lewis a happy birthday. And Lewis, yeah. 29, is it? I'm not that old. Women, women hold it 29. <laughs> no? Are you sure? I thought it was 29. No, I could be mistaken. He will be one. The patch kind of aged you, I feel like. I think so. Yeah. I'm only half here. Sonny, he, he just knew how much he liked Johnny Depp. I know, right? I, if I could just snap my fingers and then you are Johnny Depp. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to be Amber Turd though. You're the Amber Heard to his Johnny Depp. That's an amateur. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Justice Jane, Ellie, LD. Ugh, I'll be Camille. Yeah. <laughs> LPD <laughs> officers and SWAT were serving a warrant at the residence where previous shots fired runs occurred, right? A suspect fired at an LPD officer, striking them in the <laughs> leg. The officer then shot and killed the suspect. Absolutely. Wow, just desserts, right? You know? Um, Again, you live that type of lifestyle style and want to, you know, go against the cops with uh, guns and stuff like that, then you pay the price. And um, he paid the price. Uh, posting links. Oh, um, did you try? You know, if you did, you do something where it said um, Streamlabs said about posting links? Oh, yeah, Justice Jade. Uh, when it comes to Streamlabs, Streamlabs is uh, very finicky. If something is typed in a way that it's deemed that you're trying to post a link, even though you know you're not, um, it's maybe because a period was put in the wrong spot, you know, beside the word in a sense, and then it deems it as a link. So it's just something happened there where in your sentence it made it seem like 
you were trying to post a link, but we know you weren't. Um, so and that's why Streamlabs. Streamlabs is finicky. Um, right. Sometimes, and what I I saw the I saw the comment, and sometimes when you put a period and you don't um, put a um, a space after the period, yeah, it'll look like Sorry. you're trying to do a link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of those random little things. Yeah. So is it Streamlabs? Or is it the person? Do, 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 do. Right. Let me investigate that <laughs> with my new background. Feel like right. But when I when I looked at the original post, I don't see anything in there that would be odd. But other than like, well, there's just one period and then no space. Yeah. Well, I feel like was what's happening here is that obviously Justice Jane was trying to post a what we call a little bit of a P link for Lewis's birthday. And um, obviously Stream Dabs doesn't like that. No, Justice Jane, we don't need any pole dancing for Lewis. We'll save that for after when well, I've got a we'll great video. Up. I've got a great video for Lewis. Do you? Mm. Oh, is it wait, is it one I can play? No, probably not. Ah, uh, good fight. I've sent it I've sent it to you a few times, Sonny. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I seen it on Canva Dub and I was like, ah, let's try this one. Um, okay, so again, a sad situation there, but by the same token, I mean, sad for the sake that police officers are just trying to do their jobs. And then, like I said, the one gentleman ends up obviously with a non life threatening bullet wound to the leg, which is still, you know, um, a criming shame. Um, and of course, if you are just coming into the live, if you could hit that like and share for us um, to help us out with that algorithm, that would be really great. And anyway, so let, let's um, let's go on to Delphi. This live isn't going to be too long. It's going to be approximately about an hour long here. Um, so, Lewis, obviously yeah. on the 13th of uh, January, uh, Richard yeah. Allen uh, will be in court at 10, and then they'll do the other one for 11. So... Um, What's the one on the? What's the one at ten o'clock? Which one's going first? Because this is to do with the gag order as well, right? Yeah, that that's one of the things they said is going to be addressed. Yeah, and then obviously the whole, um, I think it the was funding, like funding for the yeah, yeah. the funding. Yeah. Um, do you think, Lewis, yourself, that there's going to be? Thank you, Justice Jane. Um, somehow, Justice Jane, that meant more coming from you than this strange person that keeps showing up in right. our lives. <laughs> and there, I don't know why. Just I don't know. Um, but anyways, love you, Deb. Um, what do you, do you think yourself that there's going to be a change of venue? You know, with this judge, it's kind of hard to say. I, I'm almost tempted to say that she's not going to want to do that. But then I'm also leaning towards the fact that she is from a whole different area. It might actually be an easier caseload on her to move it to her jurisdiction. So I'm on the fence with this one. Her her past history is is not leaning towards saying yes to this, but uh, there's some different factors that come into play, and I would have to say I'm on the fence. I couldn't say either way with this one. What were you gonna say, Adam? Um, I just I know that the initial um, um, speculation that it would that if they moved it, it was going to be 150 miles away in. Um, would that be Fort Wayne or is I, there's two there's there's two towns I always right. yeah yeah uh, Fort Wayne and I can't think of the other one off the top of my head either um, but it's somewhere over there um oh um and actually before we continue I just wanted to quickly show you something because I forgot yeah. to do it on the live earlier so there's a gentleman named Joe Johnson that comes into our lives all the time. And um, he asked me, and this is exactly one of those things, you know, he messaged and said, hey, Sonny, um, we play at this place. Would you mind, you know, um, basically talking about it on one of your lives in trade for, you know, he said I could have some merch or something like that. And bottom line is, is uh, as much as I appreciate the offer to Joe, these are things that, you know what I mean, that sometimes you just don't mind helping somebody out. 
So Joe Johnson is having a live music. This is for all you people in Indiana. Okay. It's called the Whiskey Brothers. January 14th from 7 to 11 p.m. Mooresville American Legion at 350 East Main Street, Mooresville, Indiana. Um, Joe Johnson and his band will be playing there. And Marvin Parrish, it looks like it says. So I wanted to make sure that I put this out there for Joe Johnson. So Joe Johnson, if you happen to see this, here's a shout out for you guys. Um, absolutely welcome. No problem to do this. Supporting each other is always what it should be about. Absolutely. And, you know, certain things in life don't need to cost anything. And right. so, again, January 14th in Mooresville, American Legion is where the Whiskey Brothers will be playing. So, again, Joe Johnson's always in the chat a lot of the times. Um, so, just want to put that out there for Joe. Yes. Um, and so I, I was looking over the order that, um, you know, because there was a motion, there was something on the, um, on, on, on the Richard Allen, um, case that was posted yesterday, um, on the court website. Um, and somebody, somebody else might be able to make sense of this more than I, I'll, I mean, I understand what I think it means, but, um, the, um, the thing that came out yesterday on the ninth. So, I mean, I guess, I guess at this point, two days ago. Um, it says, um, ju Judicial Officer um, Francisco Court Orders Defendant Supplemental Motion for Discovery and Request for Rule 405 and 404, 404 and 405 Evidence Set for Hearing January 13th, 2013 at 10am. Court Further Orders Defendant's Ex Party Motion and Order Authorizing Funding for the Fact Investigators Set for Ex Party hearing January 13th, 2023 at 11 a.m. Order signed uh, January 9th, 2023. So then today, there was another update to the court file, the court filings. And I my take on this is that this is relating to the fact that she has issued an order on one of those things from yesterday. Because it says, order issued, and then there are four lines redacted. And it says, one or January 9th, 2023, which would have been something from yesterday. And then it has the names of all of the um, attorneys listed. So my understanding of that is that, you know, she's issued her ruling on one of those things. We don't know what they would, which one of those things they are, but um, that's to me is what that, that post today is, is in regards to what I, does that make sense to anyone else or Well, um, Lewis, you're more knowledgeable about this stuff. So if, a, if um, an order was issued, say, for one of them, and then we have, um, we have what, the gag order, and we have the, um, uh, yeah. the one for the, uh, we, sorry. What, we have the supplemental motion for supplemental discovery motion. and request, yeah. rule 405 and 4, 404 and 405 evidence, and then the additional hearing for um, the funding. Um, and then it says order issued from one Oh nine 23, but it blinked out which order has been, which order was issued. Yeah. I'd have to see it to get a better idea, but it, it would probably be on the gag order because that's the thing that's been sitting there pending for right. so long. So, so my understanding, like yeah, I'm, I'm taking that as a, you know, she's issued her, her order on that on one of those things and it'll be and it'll be publicized you know if not before the hearing at the hearing on on friday and and if it if it had anything to do with the gag order they might have released that early that way if the press is there they're able to actually participate once the court starts but I, i'd have yeah. to see the actual document to see what it says but yeah <clears throat> But are you on? Are we? Are you? It's on my case or, or Doc's pop. I'm on Doc's pop right now. Can, can you send it to my messenger? Well, do, um, I can. I was gonna say I'm I assuming Adam had a screenshot because he was reading it. So yeah, I screenshot that. Might have to let me just um just put it down there. Um, so th that was the one from today. 
So on the first of the 13th, right, is the pretrial uh, conference and um, update. All I'm seeing is unavailable hearing. On the 10th, it just says on this If you look at the one on the 9th and then the one on the 10th. Yeah, the 9th is the one that you read there. Um, but on the 10th here, it doesn't show anything besides uh, automated e-notice issued to parties, order issued on the blank. 9th. But, but you see the blank? See the four blank dots? Oh, the four blank dots. That, that so it so it's what so whatever order whatever order was issued, they blanked out there. Is that what that means? Yeah, well it says order issued, yeah. Oh yeah, but I wouldn't And, I and, and then the date and then the date that follows it is from the day before when when they're discussing those the things they're gonna go over on the hearing. So in my, my reading of that is that she at least, you know, verbally has done her ruling on one of them. That's pretty good. On there, so. Because they said whatever order she issued that was issued to, for, you know, today has to do with yesterday and it they blanked out the yeah. The issue or the um the you know the order number yeah that's um yeah that's part of it on uh, genie but there's two member one so there's one at 10 one at 11. um so the one for 10 is the rule of the uh 405 the evidence the supplemental motion is at 10 and then the one for the investigator so this that's where i, I mean just because i don't know the law like that so at what point does it say gag order in here um is that part like because it says supplemental supplemental motion the discovery at 10 o'clock and then the uh investigator for the ex parte yeah. hearing yeah. You see, and I thought the gag order was on the 17th. I thought that one was one they're doing on the 17th of February, but uh, I thought this one was for evidence and discovery and then and then yeah. uh, funding. The one in February was going to be for the bond. I thought they combined the bond one and the um, gag order one together. I, yeah, I, I feel like, I don't feel like, is the, you guys, is the gag one tomorrow? I don't think I'd say so. I, or Friday. Friday. I think I the gag. Think so. I think the gag one and the bond one are together on on the seventeenth. I think so too. I think so as well. I think. Yeah. So I think I, this is this is just for this discovery and um, for. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that the way it was was February was the gag order. I remember, you know, that it being right. Not and it would make February, yeah. It would make sense if there if the if this had to do with the discovery, um, that that she might have issued the order while the gag order was still in place, because that then keeps some of the discovery private. So how come I'm not seeing the words change of venue in here? Well, the request for rule four oh and five that might be that might be the change of venue. I'm not sure what rule four oh four and four oh five are. Rule four oh four has to do with um, character evidence. So okay. four oh four means they're going to be contesting uh, some past character reference or witnesses they're going to speak on his previous character. So th that's what rule four oh four should be. Um, and and four oh five ties into that too. That's Four or five, if I remember correctly, is the manner in which they're going to prove um, his character. So, so that this is all going to be based on, I'm assuming, um, testimony from witnesses or the possibility of them interviewing people that know him or who they're going to try to put on the stand later. For this, this is all going to have to do with character reference. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of an interesting thing. I, I didn't notice that they had those two listed before. Otherwise, I would have put something together for you. But uh, with without getting into it, I know that both have to do with character reference and, and how the uh, prosecution you bring that up in court. 
Uh, support with staff. If you could speak English, please, that would be great. <laughs> Um, I, I, I need, need to join with JKK this weekend. So you need to join with K Kagan Klein this weekend? At Sunny L. The L stands for loser. I swear to God, I'm taking away your right. bond wrench. And you're, as well, and like, as of right now, all it says for the 20th, for the 17th of uh, February is hearing input date unavailable. There's no other detail on there. Hmm. But yeah. Man, I'm I'm still kind of stuck on the fact that they're they're doing rule four or four rule four or five on this. That's that's it just makes me wonder who they want to bring up as a character reference and how they want to do that. Right. Well, on the thirtieth, the thirtieth of of December, they is when they held that um, is when they held that initial um, thing that was okay, for okay. on twelve thirty two thousand twenty two. They um, they held a supplemental a supplemental motion for discovery and request for Rule four hundred four and four hundred five evidence filed by Richard M. Allen. Okay. So I, I wonder if the defense, the defense filed some motion to block people right. from either being interviewed or, or testimony given from people that have already been interviewed that know right. him. So and that, also, that, yeah, that's my so gut call on that. It's scheduled for January 13th, the gag yeah. order thing. And then, the, and then on the 21st of December, there, it, it also, this is the other place that says X party motion authorizing funding for fact finding investigator filed by Richard Allen. And so those are two things that are listed in the hearing for Friday. Oh my goodness, I need to close whatever this is. Uh, so what I'm thinking is this, that, that as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm coming up with some ideas. I think this is gonna be based on what happens in February in order for them to uh, file for a bond hearing. They're gonna wanna probably have people for character witnesses against him before that as a reason why they don't want him to get bond and mm -hmm. and defense is and probably going to want to come up with character references on why he should be allowed to bond out right and in order to in order to do that they have to present some of their their evidence which yeah. would make sense that they would want to do that while the gag order is still in place correct exactly and then the other thing too is cuz 4 or 5 has to do with the, the if i remember correctly like the, the the manner in which the character references are, are uh, provide to the court, so they might be contesting or asking for special privileges to have them come in without being present. So it might be, you know, like a video or a letter or closed circuit TV or live video tech thing. So it's funny how fast we forget when we've been paying attention to that Idaho. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I, I think that the defense is just getting all their ducks in a row on how they're gonna. Um, be prepared in February for the bond hearing. Well, yeah, but there's like the change of venue and all that stuff. Yeah, but I mean, the, the 404 and 405 strictly have to do with with character reference. So mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming the reason that defense is doing that, if they're the ones that filed for that, is because yeah. they want certain things put into evidence for February. And it might be where the people right. are not able to actually be in court. Mm -hmm. So that okay. that's why I think four or five is mentioned. They're, they're going to request the the demeanor because they're they're probably going to say that it's not safe for these family members that are going to come into court to to explain why he should be allowed out and, and to protect their safety. I could see four or five being put in the motion for that, but I said I'd have to look. It's been a long time since I've read those. I'd have to look in deeper, but I think that's what that is. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, on on December tw on December second, you know, they did set the the uh, the yeah. gag order hearing for January thirteenth, twenty twenty three at ten a.m. But then remember they canceled a few hearings and then like combined them and rescheduled yeah, some. I think that was when the whole judge thing. Remember where they canceled and rescheduled, yeah. and they put it underneath Gull's name. The different name, yeah. Deaners and they, they, they changed the name on the docket to Gull and and 
to remove right. the other judge. Yeah. It was kind of like an in and out thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like either people are very tired or they're having a little bit too much drinky drinky tonight. Uh, no idea what uh, Steph is talking about whatsoever. Is, is that a name or a word? A name? She okay? I don't know. Steph, are you good? You said something earlier. She probably took her, she probably I, took her ambient med, like her medicine. Yeah. It, it's girl. possible she's just getting tired and took her meds. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Justice Jane took some of that too. With her word exactly <laughs> here. You know? I mean, and they're right after each other. Uh, Deb, we just need you to start typing, and then we should be good. Strike like three people on there. Um, anyways, I know my fingers aren't exactly precious either when it comes to misspelling. I'm pretty much excel at it. Um, do, 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 do. Mm. Again, to people that are in the chat, if you guys can hit that like um, and share button for us. Oh, e i s i c eating peck 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 peck. Mm -hmm. That type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah. Uh, well, Adam said he was going to eat prior to us coming on the live. Uh, and then I said so, I'll eat after. Okay. I, I, ha I have this little pet peeve. So I pull out a couple pieces of bread and I went to go pull out some more bread from the fridge freezer. And as I'm in there, what bestowed upon my eyes was pizza pockets. So I was like, well, forget the bread. I'm going to go we make a couple pizza pockets. So I look in the pizza pocket thing. And you know how pizza pockets, the round ones, there's like two in a little package, you know. Were they like empty? No, 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 it's not that it was empty. One solo little birdie was sitting all by itself, all mm -hmm. out of the packaging and everything. Like there were still other things in there. So I said to my husband, excuse me, who did this? Was it you or your brother? And then my husband says, well, that's because I only wanted three, not four. And I'm like, but you literally just put it back in there with no, in no little baggie, no nothing. You just literally placed it back in the box, open air to the freezer. And then I go to go pull out the one that I want. And lo and behold, there was one single one all by itself. I was in a package, so he really could have had three. But talking about lazy, eh? I'm just going to put it right back in there. No wrappings, no covering. And, yeah. And it's just like, really? It's so different when you go into the pop box and there's no pops in there. But then the, the box just gets left in the fridge. Dri drives me batty when that happens. It's like my arm is going. Because you know where they're the long boxes of, of pop? And then yeah. my arms go in, like I have to bend down. First of all, I got to bend down. That's extra effort in itself. Then I have to like throw my arm in the box and be like, oh, searching around. Oh, look at that. No pop. But there's a box there. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. so I found an article um, um, that, that says, um, as of December 2nd, 2022, um, Judge Francis Gold issued an order that prevents counsel, law enforcement officials, court personnel, the coroner and family members from publicly communicating about the case against Richard Allen until a hearing on January 13th, 2023. Special Judge Francis Cole will decide next month whether to bar some people from speaking publicly about Delphi murder suspect Richard Allen, as well as potentially moving his case to a new location. The judge has now has since approved two motions late Thursday from attorneys who requested a hearing to consider a gag order as well as Richard Allen's request for change of venue. Both motions were filed in response to the extensive media coverage after Indiana State Police announced in October Allen 50 was charged with murder. Judge Gull has scheduled a hearing replacing a previous hearing to determine both motions in Carroll County circuit court on January 13th, 2023. Although it could be argued that the amount of, oh, this is going to go on. Yeah, the article goes on and on, but, but that's basically what it is. So my understanding from this article is that it's to 
address both of those issues. Yeah. Pepsi. And so the 404 and 405 could be barring, could be, could be the gag order. They're barring anyone from discussing it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Lewis, I want to say eight minutes later, happy birthday. Your time's up. <laughs> oh, happy yeah. birthday to Lewis, you guys. Um, he's turning 29 um, and holding. Doesn't matter if you give or take, give or take a few. Right, Lewis? Correct. How old are you actually turning? 50. How old? 50. Did I hear 29? 50. 29? Okay, perfect, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, perfect. I'm still the oldest one on the panel. Get on. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, j just so you know, not to correct you, Adam, but 404 and 405 have nothing to do Ooh. with with those two things. They, they definitely are, are just character reference things. So I'm assuming what they are is to get things in order for February for the... Uh, the motion there for bond. I I know that you've got no reason to know what they are, but I, I know for a fact that they're they're both strictly for character reference. One one is for character oh, reference, you. and one is for oh. how it's actually um, presented to the court. Hey, Lewis, yeah. get down a second, eh? Yeah. Fifty. Yeah, fifty. That's a milestone. Where did you go, Lewis? <laughs> I got so excited that he probably hit the wrong button. Yeah, yeah, pop gun. Oh, you know what? Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Come on, guys. Happy birthday to Lewis. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> or happy birthday to you. You like that? Deb likes it. Happy. Hold on. Mm, yeah. Birthday to you. Second, second. You guys want more? One more. Don't stop me now. Happy birthday. Yeah, Lewis, one eyed man, whatever. Pat, yeah. Put on, yeah, put gloss with us. I mean, he, he missed it. It's his fault. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And many more. Are you, do you hear? I know. Who let the dogs out? Who? Who? Deb did. She probably did. She's probably like, move over, Sonny. I can do way better than that. You have a kind here? <laughs> I got, um, okay, you sang, and I'll use the lips. But I just feel like, Lewis, I'm so sorry, dude. You totally missed your singing. Can't help you. We're not doing it again. You know, I always find it funny, though, when the birthday song comes along in real. And then there's those people that believe that they can sing. Oh, here he is. And then there's those mm -hmm. people that can't. And then there's those people that are afraid to start singing because you never know. Hey, Lewis. Hey, I don't know what happened. My phone shut off. I had right. a it's it's because you, it's because you're 50 now. You don't know how to use technology. Oh no no no! <laughs> um, Steph is trying to like get us to send her the link or something like that. Um, Steph, uh, with your writing capabilities, I'm afraid. I'm really afraid to be honest with you. I feel like whatever you popped or had is affecting your equilibrium. <laughs> Here's a big word I don't know. Lewis, we sang happy birthday while you were gone. <laughs> totally did. You can go back and watch it on replay. In we fact, did. Adam twerked to it. I um, think that so. did happen. Yeah. Um, and see, she can't even say send me link. It's send what, me was it in, was it in a Marilyn Monroe voice? Sonny's was. <laughs> I did. I did. Yes, I was like, happy. Dab. And then Deb chirped in. And I was like, I think they hear the dogs howling. Yeah, it wasn't the uh, dogs though. It was like a pack of wolves. Yeah, who let the dogs out? Who? Stefa, are you ambient chirp? Yeah, um, Stefa, you just you stay in bed. I think she's trying to wish you a happy birthday, Lewis. Ah, um, thanks, Stefa. I know. The, the, the poor thing. She's like begging. 
um, one sec here. Does she yeah. want to come on live? Oh, I know, but I'm afraid. She like, like, look at diamond eyes. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, she probably wasn't eating, but she was probably doing many of these other things, to be honest with you. Um, Steph is one of those ones that, you know, can't really usually handle her liquor too well. Um, or we can't handle her liquor too or, well. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, pl I'm playing. I'm playing Steph. Fine to bed. Well, I did send you the link if you want to come say a quick happy birthday. And this is like 10 seconds, 10 seconds max. <laughs> um, that was a Marilyn Monroe. I thought it was an impaired criminal. Absolutely was an impaired criminal. I just wanted to see if you could tell the difference, to be honest, Lisa. Um, apparently you can. Not. Um, yeah. Actually, I, I feel like I need to go sing that to Greeno, to be honest with you. Happy jail time to you. Mm. You're so bad. I know. Um, okay, so um, regardless about all this stuff, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Louis? Yes. They said that they were going, that the reason why they wanted um, whatever, the extra time is because they believed another, another person or other persons was involved. Possibly, yeah. Okay, so nothing yet. It's been nothing. Why? Well, first off, you've got the gag order in place, so they're not going to be able to discuss anything. The only thing we've got access to is what comes up on on the the site for the court. And uh, so, if they arrested I, somebody, we wouldn't know. Correct. I don't think we'd know. Just like we didn't know he was arrested until several days later. Sure. But the gag order is already in place, so if it's related to the case, that would have been very quiet. But um, even if they have or they haven't, from the way they've done like I've told you in the beginning, the way those charges are written, they're not concerned about that. They're concerned about is proving the kidnapping. If they prove the kidnapping, yeah. they're going to prove the murder, and that's that's all they need. Mm. Yeah. I know. I know a lot of people are still stuck up on – you know, the, the bullet evidence and proving this and proving that. And I, none of that's going to matter if they can prove the kidnapper. Right. Right. Well, and they're not going to need any of it if, with all the other forensic, the forensic evidence they have recovered yeah. since. Well, e even that stuff, you could fight that. You, you, you can, you know, uh, push to have that suppressed. There's so many things that could happen with that kind of evidence. But I have a feeling what we don't know is the proof that they have. And that's why the charges are in the way it is. And, and I don't think they would have done that particular charge unless they had proof of the kidnapping. Yeah. If, yeah, if they it think the kidnapping is a solid case. Yeah. If the kidnapping is a solid case and they've got proof of that, then nothing else matters to them. And that's why the, the prosecution's been acting the way they're acting. They're, they're not yeah. concerned about the other stuff. Yeah. Like I said, it'll, it'll make sense when it comes out in court. Yeah. But uh, for people that are worried about the way things are going and worried about him getting off, if they have, I don't think they're worried about that. We might not be impressed with the way the prosecution's handling things, but I don't think that we're seeing what their game plan is. I, I mean, I think I am, but I, I don't think most people are seeing what their real game plan is. And I think that's just uh, an easier charge of kidnapping. And then that proves the other took place during the kidnapping. And, and then the murder charges would stick. Do you think... I am... I what You know what? It's driving me batty in my head. The one thing is... If there is... What's the connection between Kagan Klein and Richard Allen? I want to know it. And I want to know it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Um, that's what I want to know. I want. That's why, honestly, um, when I when I realized myself for the stuff that I typically look at, which is people and stuff like that, um, that's very draining in itself, and pictures and stuff like that. Um, and I just thought to myself, you know, 
there's not much out there on the social media with Richard Allen. It's not like I can sit there and pin and probe that everybody else hasn't done. You know, people have tried. We have failed for the most part. So unless it somehow comes back to that, you know, Craig uh, Brent Froguy or something. Don't know what the connection, like, you know, do you believe that there's a connection between Kagan Klein and Richard Allen? You know, other than just things we've heard, it it sits in the back of my head that ser searching the gas station that Keegan supposedly did, the marathon station, that makes me think that there's some sort of a connection. But I don't think it's a personal connection like they knew each other well in person. I think it was all online, <clears throat> if there's any connection at all. That, that's my gut call. Um, do you think it was a form kind of like the Koberger thing, but obviously like a form like those type of ones, but not that one, but obviously a forum like that? You know, um, for some reason, I want to keep going back to, to message boards. I really think if there's some sort of a connection, it was not through what we normally see now as social media. I think it was what was more in play 20 years ago, 15 years ago, message boards. Because I think the people that do this horrible stuff online have stayed on that side of it because it's a lot harder to track the people down. You know, like like old ICQ chat type stuff. I think that's where they'd be communicating yeah, as opposed to the stuff that's out now. I, I think it's too easy to track people through new types of social media. I just think that seems very old and weird. Yeah, but you're right. talking about a guy that's older that might be into this, and if there was any connection at all, that that's probably the way he would go because well, he didn't yeah. have any kind of social media that we could find. Well, that was sort of a ghost online. Um, under, I mean, under his own name, right? Exactly. I mean, you know, my, I mean, you know, I've said, you know. I believe if they, I believe if there's a connection, I believe that they met because I feel like they, um, they coincidentally catfished each other, um, through, through a very traditional website, um, both pretending to be a young girl and then realized that they were not. And that would be the, um, foundation of that relationship, whether they met in person until then. Hey, but, um, Richard Allen had many ways to um, use social media that did not tie back to him. What did you just say, Adam? Sorry. Uh, Richard Allen had, had, had ways to use social media that did not tie back to him. That seems pretty realistic. I mean, really. Um can't see the whole message board thing myself um maybe but i'm 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 seeing it as whether it was through uh just hearing. and also just remember the proximity that keegan klein looked for girls in yeah he was very specific in the geographic mm -hmm. location that he catfished people in and you know, now, someone, if posing, someone posing as a teenage girl um, that wasn't a teenage girl in that geographic area could have very easily come into fold, into that fold. There, there's there's one app that back then, I I would say if it was an app that would have been used that actually was pretty Instagram. Uh, discreet and also gave location w without having to leave any kind of a trail and that was meet me uh, and that came preloaded on phones back then that, that was sort of a popular thing that it, it's changing to something else now but that would have been an older app that turned into a newer app because before me it was meet me it was um i forget the name of it it had to do with uh your high school 
And it was just a, a basic app used to keep connected with people you went to high school with. And uh, at the time of, of, of Delphi, it actually had a location service on it that would give your location without the other person having to okay that. And that's something that I could see maybe Alan using from before it became that type of an app. So if it is an app, that's the one I would think would have been used. But uh, I, I think his online platform was, was more based on more things that are discrete than apps. But that, that's yep. the only one that sticks. And, and the reason that that app sticks in my mind is, is back when this happened, there was a, a POI that still to this day is on Google when you search his name pops up as having a profile on Meet Me. And uh, he put himself at the crime scene and pretended to actually be bridge guy for a while. And, and I always thought that was very odd that he was connected to that app. And, and I almost wonder if he knows Alan because he's a very odd individual and he, he was connected to Ron Logan's property pretty heavy. When was, when did Telegram come out? You just you have to think of uh, it, Telegram was not especially in rural Indiana. It would it would not it was not something that was well known. Um, I mean I mean you I mean I mean you also have to look at this from if you're a, if you're if you're if you're a pedo and you're looking to meet people in a local area, uh, Meet Me is what is an app that could have easily been used, but you know you could think much more traditional with Snapchat and Instagram. Well, I mean, th that's how, I mean, that's how Keegan Klein met Libby. Pardon? Yeah. That's uh, how Keegan, uh, and, he, and he knew her geographical location from it. You know, the, um, the uh, map on Snapchat came out in June of 2017, but um, there were ways to, find, to get geographical location off of Snapchat before then. You could search with, you could still search, you couldn't see on a map where they were, you could search within a certain radius of people in your area, just like you could um, on um, Instagram mm -hmm. and um, and and musically back then, which is now TikTok. Yeah. So Keegan Klein used Meet Me, and that was one of the apps that he deleted and reinstalled multiple times. Uh, well, as was I, Instagram. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get a word in in a second. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna get it in now, actually. So Meet Me. Um, when I was looking at multiple people saying meet me was a, the most very common thing that, that I kept coming across with all of those names was meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me. Mm -hmm. And it was to the point that I was like, really? Is everyone on meet me here? Now, I don't know enough about all these apps myself. I just know from all my searching, um, when I was scrolling down somebody's name and, you, and these are not usually good people, um, it was like amazing how many of them had the meet me, this meet me app, um, because it was on. So with um, uh, Kagan Klein, it was on Instagram, and then he had her move over to Snapchat. Is that correct? Yeah, and a lot of people do that or meet me. They'll have the you know they yeah. they can meet them through traditional stand and then and then mm -hmm. they'll have them move over to less traceable ones or Kick. Yeah, that was you know that was another big one at that time. Uh, what, because what about this Ubo? See, Ubo was not something I was even aware of. You know, was you know was aware of super, you know, and um, but me. I mean, the the ones I mentioned are the ones that I I've, I've, I've heard the most, um, yeah. likely tied. You know, are Meet Me, Instagram, Snapchat, and um, Kick. When did uh, when did and musically. Um, so August 14, 2013 is when the servers of Telegram, okay. I, the reason why I bring up Telegram is because Alex himself said, hey, mm -hmm. if you want to be pri like private and Tiara, Tiara being the mistress of um, Judge Phil, so, um, so Tara, uh, Tiara had also told, talked to me about Telegram. Now, I personally never heard of Telegram. It's just like Messenger, same thing. But basically, if you wanted to hide things and, um, you know, uh, anonymity that you would, 
that uh, that the Telegram one was really good for doing that. I remember Alex saying it to me, and I remember going, oh, this is the one that I had that Tiara gave me. And I actually had it because Tiara said, I'm always on Telegram. I don't really use my mm -hmm. messenger. And it's for that reason. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of one of those things, again, I wasn't aware of it. None of us were aware of this tapper talk either, but um, but the people that are involved in things, let me put it that way, are very much aware of mm -hmm. things like Telegram. Um, whereas most people probably, most people probably never even heard of it because right. we just use our simple messengers because we're not into trying to do dirty things and, you know, hide things and trying to, you know, um, create more yeah, stuff. I was know. trying to look at the geographic location of like where things, you know, because they're even like dating websites, I think that are, you know, they'll be big in some cities, not in, you know, they'll have them in other cities, but, you know, there'll be like 10 people on them. So, you know, um, my understanding was just that in 2017, I don't think the usership on Telegraph was very large. That was the only reason I, I had said that. But um, okay. yeah, because I've, I, I, um, I've learned a lot about Telegraph lately and it's gained popularity. Um, um, nationwide, yeah. especially, because, especially because of some of the privacy stuff, you know, well, I mean, we, everyone's been in Facebook jail. <laughs> you what? Yeah, I, I know, right? Like, had you heard a telegram yourself? Up not, until a, not in 2017, but I have, but I've heard about it much, you know, since uh, because it just wasn't big in the, it was, you know, it wasn't something that was well, as widely used the, in 2017. I, I guess it's one of those things though, that if you're not into shady stuff, you don't really care about those things, right? You know, but it, but the people that are into shadier stuff, those are the people that are using these things that we don't really know about. Too. Well, besides tick, you know, TikTok. And yeah, around, no, I mean, I'm, that's how my brain is thinking. Is really is like, you know, um, what Alex. But if you have said, one shady person, if you have it? one, you know, because if if you have one shady person trying to trick someone that isn't shady. The, you know, like someone that, you know, like a traditional 14 year old girl isn't going to be on the thing like Telegraph. That's why they direct them over to those websites. No, I was thinking yeah. maybe more of R.A. and Kagan. Same. That, but I mean, that, and that's what I'm saying, you know, but if, you know, in my opinion, if there is a relation to them, I believe they met because I think they accidentally catfished each other. Yeah, I get what you're saying. That's so, what you know, true, which would have been but... a traditional website. Yeah. I mean, hopefully one day we'll see. Um, I mean, it's a good thought, Adam. Absolutely. I can see it happening because I've done that, you know, before where you're talking with someone, then they're like, well, okay, this is really me, you know? So that could have happened, could have conversed that way or whatever. Of course, um, speculate, it's just speculation, but, you know, yeah. that was just, you know, if, the, if they, you know, if they, if there's a correlate, if there's a connection. To me, that's a very plausible one that I would keep in mind in case you know it comes to fruition. Okay. And if, if that's the case, I would still link it to either Kick or Meet Me. Those those are the two I think that they would have both been using that would have put them in the position to move over to a different app or, or platform. Um, one uh, two things. Uh, Dave Dean says uh, he says he never bought into the fact that. Um, the girls went to go meet AS. In fact, the uh, mm -hmm. target that day was the third witness. I mean, when you listen to, uh, what's his name? Something, Max Snowberger, you know, Max Snowberger said that Libby was going to meet a 19 year old um, at the um, bridge, whatever. And he didn't want her to go. Um, obviously, she ended up going. So that's Libby's best friend. So if Max Snowberger is saying that Libby went to go meet this 19-year-old that was from this Anthony Schott's account or whatever, or from a uh, Snapchat, I'm going to say myself that I think it's pretty likely that she was under the guise that she was going there to meet this Anthony Schott's account. And yeah. You know, and just, you know, like, even if she asked her sister to go, Kelsey, I think it was just one of those things like, hey, I'm gonna, like, I don't know. Um, but if Max Snowberger said that, and he, and he talks about it with Julie, 
um, in that interview, uh, I'm going to think that she went there to go meet whoever it was that was pretending to be on that 19 year old, or at least that was a lure to get her to go. I don't know. Um, all right, and we're not from India. We will find out soon. Um, Lewis is from Indiana area. Uh, Adam is not Adam Sh uh, Charlotte over there, and I'm Vancouver, Canada here. Um, I have been looking into a group of shady people. Oh, I thought I told you, Chaotic, to n quit <laughs> stalking our group. Right. Yeah, I think Meet Me still an unsafe platform. And but, uh, first of all, and I'm, I'm I'm the head of the group, and I'm called Slim Shady. Slim <laughs> Shady. Um, have minimal social media, but all are on um, Meet Me. Um, I've been looking to a group of shady people that have minimal social media, but all are on Meet Me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I see a ton. Mm -hmm. um, Indiana, born and raised. January Lips. What an interesting name, January Lips. <laughs> These are July Lips. Mm. I'm going to gloss for you. You're welcome. You didn't ask for it. Just the present that I'm giving out right now. <laughs> Free. Mm. Okay. Government has access right. to our email and phone. Right. They can have eight percent. Yeah, and yeah. Austin, we we know that we know that KK posed as females online. So, yeah. Yeah. It's very easy to go onto Instagram, pose as a fifteen-year-old girl, and and get them to go over to meet me. All right, and we have evidence of yeah. you know. Of, 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 of Anthony Schultz doing that exact thing, moving them over to other accounts mm -hmm. from Instagram. Um, uh, her name is Julie Melvin. If you go over there, you should be able to watch the uh, Max Snowberger interview that she had uh, with Max about um, Libby going to the bridge that day and about what well, the account. Um, so you can go listen to that on Julie Melvin's uh, channel there. Um, it's just like it sounds. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. And look at those red those red lips match my red shirt. Just saying. Sorry, I, I know I really shouldn't be uh, flirting and stuff like that on the live, but I mean, Adam and Louis do it all the time, so. We're trying to corrupt you. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I got about another 10 minutes myself, guys, and my husband needs to go to work or get, well, you know, not go to work, but go to sleep to get ready for mm -hmm. work. And plus, we're just, you know, again, YOLO. This is like the third live for me uh, tonight, <laughs> personally, and Adam as well. Uh, Lewis is number two. <laughs> um, and if anyone doesn't know Lewis, um, I punched Lewis. I'm so sorry again, Lewis. <laughs> but I went to go punch Lewis in the left eye, but accidentally hit the right eye. And um, again, so now he's our one eye Jack <laughs> or, or he could be possibly having some eye issues. And if he takes that um, patch off, there's no eye actually there anymore. <laughs> or, or I'm lying to you and there's an eye there that is just going through some health issues with it. And he's not sure. It looks like it's hurting your brain. <laughs> Austin. Yeah. But anyway, so this is Lewis, you guys. And he has to wear the eye patch so, so that he can see better when he's driving and when he's looking at things. So it takes the strain off. So unfortunately, just recently, Lewis was having some eye issues. Um, they're not really sure what's going on per se um, besides somewhat detaching stuff it, it, it's possibly a nerve that, that that's uh, it is torn it. yep yeah yeah well yeah so we're gonna we're, we're kind of gonna call him like captain lewis <laughs> lewis hook doesn't matter when i jack yeah poor lewis he loves it um, well, I'm sure you don't love being in this situation. It really does suck, eh? Yeah, uh, but, it does, but, you but know, I can't, I can't change it, so what am I going to do, you know? Oh, yeah. Adam's on four streams. Lewis, Adam was on <laughs> CDs today. Uh, 
Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Um, Deb, drop your link for your channel, please. And I always got to babysit Adam. He never, he never thinks to drop his own link throughout the live. <laughs> okay. I think it's been well established that I'm not a good, I'm like the worst YouTuber when it comes to yeah. self promotion. So, you guys, um, Deb can drop her link there. I'm going to drop Adam's link. Uh, we're trying to get Adam um, to a thousand subscribers. Um, again, he has a channel as well called Aspen Connor. And we're really trying to get him to it. He's getting close, you guys. He's about like 877 or something like that. If you guys could uh, go fingerprint over there and give Adam and Deb. Um, if Deb, okay, Deb's is right there. Deb, uh, Deb's Crime Notebook is Deb's channel. Uh, and if anyone doesn't know, Deb was on a crime and shame before. So, of course, it's friends helping friends, uh, promoting each other's channel because... Of course, you know, you try to do that just like we did with Joe Johnson's thing. You try to Sunny, do it with good In people. college, we called friends helping friends something else. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> what did you call it? Oh, no, I meant it meant something else. Oh, it meant something else. Yeah. <laughs> just checked in what's going on. Um, well, we were just congratulating ourselves, Heyoko, Heyoka, on um, the... Um, that Super Bowl thing that you guys got going on that we won earlier today. And so we were just basically pretty much saying how we're going to go buy an island with that money. Or we're just going to stay here and be, you know, work our way up and earn it and give that money to the starving and the poor instead. <laughs> Something like that. Um, there was somebody in here that was talking about the shootings going on in Indiana. We had actually did that at the start of the live here. So if you're just hopping in now and you screeched forward to this part, uh, you might want to reverse backwards and go to the start of this live here and you'll come across that part. Very sad situation again. Um, he will be, yeah, I know. And if people can just hit that subscribe button for those, uh, for Devin, for Adam, that would be great. And chaotic. Uh, oh, well, chaotic. She can drop her link in here too um, as well. My bad, Chaotic. Chaotic Beauty and Crime is in here. Um, if you guys, if Chaotic, if you want to drop, oh, wait, she did. I'm, I'm a little slow, Chaotic. Didn't see you down here. I was too busy uh, looking up here. See, I was looking at that. I didn't, if I would have seen you put that, Chaotic, I might have noticed this. Uh, I didn't. But anyways, yes. Um, again, it's, I, I, I just think of it as friends helping friends, helping each other out. Um, one said, appreciate it. One said, appreciate that you helped them out. And I um, appreciate anyone that also helps us out as well um, by supporting the channel. And um, Kyle, that donation for that million dollars was coming when? That's a, I feel like it's been a while now. And even Grizz, Grizzmatically Clever, he always claims he loses in poker. So we'll <laughs> probably never see that fun pot hit. Um, Lewis, take it in stride, but we will pray for the best. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, what Lisa meant was that uh, we will pray that Sunny doesn't punch you in the other eye. <laughs> um, that's kind of more what she meant about that. But okay. You want to make it seem like I'll donate dishes. Kyle's, Kyle's kind of <laughs> like the, the leech of the group that's always trying to get people to do his dishes for him. Um, I, all I got to say to Kyle is shoe mooch. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's not going to happen. We're not going to do it. I hate doing dishes. Ain't going to happen. I hate changing diapers. He was requesting that. Um, but yeah. Um, so anyways, um, I, I pretty much want to get going here in a few minutes. So is there anything that Adam or Lewis that you guys want to have more bring up? Because obviously the 13th is coming soon. We'll find out more again. Um, you know, we're just taking our time with it, waiting for the information to come out. Um, and honestly, um, I feel very blessed to be part of the Idaho case as well. And it's a, a very touching case, uh, needless to say, that, again, um, I don't want to say similarities, but besides the knife, perhaps. Um, but it's just two cases. Um, 
but definitely in this Idaho one, it was really pulled at my heartstrings just because of, of these four people that were there one moment, gone the next. And um, one person's in a course in jail. So we'll keep on following that. There's um, Adam wants to discuss the Madalena. Is it the Madalena uh, case as well? Yeah. Yes. And um, so, Louis, just, um, sorry, Adam, just give a quick gist to people about that case again. Uh, Madalena Kojikari um, is a little girl. Um, she's 11 years old. Uh, she um, was last seen on November 23rd in Cornelius, North Carolina, which is a, um, a, a suburb of Charlotte, North Carolina, about 20 minutes away. Um, she was not reported missing um, until December 15th, I believe it was. Um, her mother and her stepfather have been arrested for failing to report um um, the disappearance of a child. Um, a search warrant has been executed on their house. Um, there have been a few little updates in the last week or so, but to the, as of now, she has still not been located, and we don't know her whereabouts. Yeah, very sad. And, um, Lewis, yeah. um, just quickly, you had sent an article that I want to really look at. Can you just give a brief summary of um, what you were telling me about that one article that you sent me about the serial killer? Yeah, I, I haven't really read that article yet, but uh, I had watched a video on earlier today while I was waiting at the doctor's office, and it really intrigued me that this lady doesn't want any notoriety. She's coming forward. She's 45, I believe now, and she said from when she was a little kid in school, She's been trying to get the police department, the people at school, and everyone to listen to her that her dad was a serial killer. And I guess for years and years, they kept ignoring her. And she would go in there and say that he forces me and my siblings to, to not say anything. We've had to help him take these bodies and dump them into a well. And, and she said it was five or six women every year. She even described them by age and, and characteristics and stuff. And no one listened to her because she was a little kid. And she never stopped reporting stuff. Well, finally, she went to the FBI. And several months ago, they came forward and said they went out to that house where the you know the well used to be. And they brought two um, cadaver dogs. And it's very unlikely that two cadaver dogs would hit on the same spot on the same day if there wasn't remains there. And I guess they hit on the spot where the well used to be, both of them and three other spots in the yard. <clears throat> and what makes it even more interesting is that the gentleman had two of his wives die. One of them died by strangulation. And they said that, you know, she did that herself. And the other one was a gunshot wound. So very, very weird circumstances on the two wives also. And uh, I guess the FBI is taking a, you know, a new look at this because the local police were ignoring her for so many years. But could you imagine that? Being being a kid and, and telling people, being brave enough to tell people in school that your dad is a murderer, and you want help, and the school just ignores you. I I, I really want to do a little deep dive into it now that I, I saw the video. I'm really intrigued. Well, there's the mushroom topic again, Dad. You should go mushroom hunting there. Mm -hmm. so, let me ask you: Do your exceptional moral mushrooms grow where bodies are? underneath is that like help make more mushrooms <laughs> what what's the moral of the story yeah cha-ching cheese <laughs> um, but she literally said is that true though the property produced so many more mushrooms because it because of the buried bodies so i think she's being serious to be honest with you on that one but uh, his name was uh, Sturdy. His last name was S T U R D Y, if I remember correctly. Thanks, Deb, for answering. Donald, I think. Don was it Donald Sturdy? Sure. Why not? <laughs> um, you talking about the case that you sent me? Yeah, Alan? I'm trying to um, remember off the top of my head. I think his sure. name was Donald. It is, um, let me see. Oh my goodness. Lewis, it was from Iowa. What the heck link is that one? 
things like a book. Oh, that was that video for the shooting today. Yeah. Um, yeah, D Donald Sturdy was his name. I just looked it back up on here. Okay. Yeah. His daughter's name was Lucy, and she's been claiming since she was a little kid that he was a serial killer. Well, she estimated about 70 victims. Mm. What state is this in? Iowa. Oh, right. That was in Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. That was for you, Sierra. You're welcome. Did you enjoy that? And if you didn't, well, then start. I love the Coyote Ugly song. And I heard it on Adam's. Uh, uh, you guys got to go check out um, Adam and Deb's uh, shorts. Um, they're really producing some great uh, shorts. And uh, sorry, Louis. Uh, Lucky, whoops. Lucky says, "WTF? Is she okay?" Mm -hmm. Who's he referring to? Um, the girl. I think that you're speaking of. Or maybe maybe he's asking Adam about the girl that's missing. No, um, I don't. Well, Lucky, who are you referring to? I think L Lucky was talking about. Well, you, yeah, the, the, you're talking about. the one I'm referring to. She's in her forties. The dad passed away several years ago, and she finally got the FBI. So she's okay. But mm -hmm. I, I think that question might fit Adam's a little better than mine. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, the child. no, no, yeah. yeah, no, Mad Madalena has not been, that she was, like I said, a month went by without her even being reported missing, um, and there's been no sign of her since. We, we have literally, I mean, I'm, law enforcement may know something, but um, as of right now, the parents are both being held on charges of um, of not reporting a child missing which was a law um, that in North Carolina took place um, because of Kaylee Anthony. Um, it's called Kaylee's Law, um, and it was put into place after Casey Anthony and that whole thing in Florida. Okay. All right, um, you guys, I need to get going here. Uh, thank you very much, again, if you, if you guys are new here. Um, sorry, Sierra. Um, if you're gonna have to go back and watch the rest of the video start of the video is about uh, the shooting that happened in Lawrence, Indiana um, And then that's um, then it moves into uh, Some Delphi here pretty much. Okay um, Again, just uh, we know that on the 13th of January this Friday, which is Friday the 13th um, Kind of perfect, isn't it? Friday the 13th. He was arrested October 31st there's those backwards one threes as well, and the forward one threes. But anyways, um, Richard Allen will be in court for the two hearings there. And Sierra is my wife, treat her. And, oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not going to happen, Sierra. Everybody gets treated equally shitty here. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so if you're expecting any special treatment, you're not going to get it. And um, Kyle, actually, if you mind taking Kyle out of here, because he's too busy trying to get us to do the dishes. He's trying to, like, pawn that stuff up on us all the time. I'm sorry that he's addicted to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. I, I think Lisa, Lisa needs, Lisa's going to come over in the morning and do my dishes. She told me she would. What's she going to do? Wipe it with her butt? She's gonna be no, like, no, 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 no. She, she told me she got some, she got some, you know, some new Dawn dishwashing grease, okay. and she, she's gonna come clean my dishes. Oh, um, I'm pretty. Oh, actually, Lisa, she still wants to test out my fist in her face. She clearly said that I couldn't throw a punch. Oh, well, thank yeah. you, Kyle, for having her. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Kyle. Um, and and don't I worry, you Sarah. See when Kyle said that he loved us more than you, we didn't take him <laughs> seriously. We didn't. You know, in fact, we were like, actually, to be honest with you, 
I, I thought he said that it was Lola, that his wife's name was Lola at the cabana. <laughs> Pretty sure that that's what he said. <laughs> Beautiful name, Sierra. Again, don't expect oh, I guess I guess people over 50 would get that joke. Yeah, well, most people <laughs> in here are over 50, Adam. Even Lewis. I'm uh, not over Lewis. 50. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. You yeah, out, an hour. You are literally about an hour, uh, 53 minutes over 50. Yes, you are. No, I'm not over 50. <laughs> Uh, I, I really so Lisa. Lisa feels like I can't throw a punch. Uh, Lewis, bring me your other eye. I'll show her. I'll show her. I can. Oh, Lisa, Lisa said, "Ask when I have. I have. I'm busy helping Deb. <laughs> we know Deb has a housekeeper. I'm kidding. <laughs> right? Yeah, you're not fooling us. Oh, I'm waiting for Deb's fist to go up. <laughs> so. Right. I mean, I, however. Um, Again, just want to thank everybody. Oh my God, I'm trying to be serious and I just can't. Um, well, Sierra, I'm just wondering where Sierra and Kyle are taking me for my birthday dinner because they're oh. not going to do dishes. Oh. We have to go out then so there's no dishes. Yeah. And you can make him a mud pie. He truly <laughs> likes those mud pies. Okay, get it right. Five foot two and three quarters, which equates to five and five three. All right. You know what? Um, Sierra, welcome. At least is the rude, obnoxious one that's always thinking that no. she's funny and you know really tries to overtake me. But it can't can't happen. Not until she comes on alive. Maybe maybe we'll have a standoff one day. Lisa's been on alive with me. No. See, there's a difference. You were right invited. There, it would Remember? have been a lot funner if I was it, on. It there. was your channel. You just weren't invited. <laughs> Yeah, so that that was that morning, wasn't it? No, it was. Um, she came on. She came on and talked to us all about. Um, she Lisa knows a lot about. Um, about Flora. Lisa was a wealth of information. Oh, wait, where was I? Was I sleeping during it? You're. You know what? You're right, Adam. I was probably <laughs> heavily intoxicated. You it was. You know, it was. Yeah. It was. It was one of those Captain Morgan nights. Yeah. <laughs> Just too much eggnog. Yeah. It was one of the nights that it was a, it was one of the Monday nights that Deb and I were on. Yeah. Um and, and Sierra, since you're in here, um we're me and Adam are trying to get and Lewis are trying to get um Kyle to get his uh butt on the live. And he is claiming that he has the children all the time, twenty-four <laughs> seven and then at the end of it he put and I'm kind of an introvert and shy. Um I would like to uh, welcome Kyle for coming on to our live tomorrow night. No, I'm just kidding. She's not. <laughs> right. and, and, we, and we know Lisa. Lisa's a little afraid of Sunny. A little. Uh, but it's only because Sunny sent her like, that rabbit head in her mail. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Adam, you weren't supposed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no. I mean, rabbit foot, rabbit foot. It was a lucky rabbit foot. Who got shot? No, see, sir, it wasn't who got shot. It was. Sunny had a daily shot. Told you. <laughs> um, I think that Stefa got into that same thing earlier. Um, I don't know what she was saying, to be honest with you. Um, Are you ready to solve the next crime? She knows I wouldn't. Are you ready oh. to go solve the next crime? It don't mess with cats. All right? They're, Do not they're mess solving with more crimes than YouTubers. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, where did you get a media hat? Yes. Um, <laughs> if... If somebody, oh, right, Deb. Um, if somebody, um, that thought, that thought that was here, it was like gone. It was. Oh, that, you took it. Is that what happened? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Don't mess with cats. So, um, Kyle, uh, Kyle um, we brought you this far. Come on. Come on. Uh, you can bring it. Uh, Lucky Re Nine says, "Sees, I think they talk about it at the beginning of the live. It's time for vodka shots now, Lewis." What DoorDash am I going to order? All right, I know. What DoorDash are you going to send to Lewis? I don't know. No, I meant was like I meant for myself. What DoorDash am I going to order myself for dinner now? 
yeah, 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 right. Mm -hmm. No, no. So, everyone, if you guys can hit your um, joking. before I we think get Adam, hmm? I think Adam wants Chinese food tonight. Oh, I love Chinese food. I, I, I mean, 2 a.m. I don't know yeah. if I can. I don't. I, I mean, Charlotte's a big city, but I don't know if it's big enough to have Chinese food at 2 a.m. that I would oh, want to eat. I think, right. I think you want uh, some spring rolls and some vegetable oh, fried rice. Oh, spring rolls. I got mm. spring rolls in the freezer right now. I'm not sure what kind of offers I have here. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> um, if everyone can just, you know, sh uh, sh uh, put up some cakes and uh, party crackers or whatever you want to call them. Um, I wish Louis a happy birthday again. Lewis just turned 50, so what's a big one? Um, yeah, and McDonald's so it's window. birth week. Yeah, right, birth week. Yeah, birth week. Um, and yeah, no, anyways, again, if you guys can go sub to Deb's channel, uh, Adam's channel, uh, Chaotic Beauty is in the house. Um, she dropped her link as well, and... If you guys, of course, can hit the like and share. I mean, I know it's a lot to ask, but really, if you think about it, it it's will take free. no more. It's free, and it will take no more than two minutes. Yeah, you just got to go pop, Aspen Connor, pop, Deb's True Crime book, yeah. Um, and then over to Chaotic Beauties there, and, you know, back over here. Well, no, actually start here, work your way out, okay? Yeah, there we go. Happy birthday on there. Um, anyways, uh, Sierra, beautiful name. Um, and welcome to the channel again. Um, if you could just take Kyle with you when you go, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, oh, at least I love playing kale. It's my favorite fast food. And so, oh yeah. Subscribe to just have Sunny and Lewis channel. Though. That's too, I know there's all these ones. Hey, can you guys just go through the list? Huh? Well, mind you, you guys, I'll tell you this. <laughs> Even though only certain ones are in there. Party. I, well, I mean, you'd miss me too much. Do, you know, what? just honestly, tell me, tell me what you would think you would miss, and I'll tell you if it's true or not. Because I can't think of one reason why now, right now, why I would miss you. I can't think I of mean, one. A little harsh, I know. Can't have we ever seen Kyle Davis and Ray Jones in the chat at the same time? Mm -hmm. Inquiring yes, minds want to know. I'm playing. Yeah. Um. There's nothing open. Yeah. You, yeah. If you can tell me one thing that I would miss, if you can tell me one thing I'd miss, but if you can't, you have to come on the live. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Sounds like a deal. One day he'll be like all ready to come on the live. He'll be like, you know what? You guys have helped me gain my confidence and, you know, may help me come out of my shell so much that I'm going to come on the live and we're going to be like, too late. Delphi's over. Too late. <laughs> Pretty much what's going to happen. Streamlabs. See, Kyle, don't be shy. Streamlabs loves coming on the live. You'd have to find someone new to pick on. It, it is not hard. The pickings are easy, right, Lisa? Very easy. I think right? we need to ask Kyle to go down there on Friday and get a personal interview for us. Yeah, Kyle, if you could just go visit and talk to anyone um, and just smooth up with uh, murder sheets. Uh, they'll be out there, too, uh, getting their good books over there. Actually, you know what? All you have to do is tell them that you know Nick and uh, Cody and... Um, whatever his name is, Evans guy, Shane Evans guy, and stuff like that, and you'll be in their good books for sure. I think he should get us okay. invited to one of their houses for dinner. Yeah, and, and do a live stream on on our live from his camera. Yeah, you, you want to do? I I can get you a live at Murder She's house. <laughs> <laughs> we just all we just all have to sit on their little couch. Yeah. Um, he is for horses. If you know, you know. Hey, Melissa. So is it one of those things where Melissa comes in and says, hey, and we're like, bye. Is that, is that, yes, that's the ticket. Um, dude, you, you forgot Bob Matlock. Wait. Is Bob Matlock, is that from a show? No. Well, Matt, Matlock no. was. But Kyle, did Bob ever message you back? Oh, that person. 
that right, that person. Whatever yeah. happened with that, actually, Kyle? Talk to us, actually, before we leave. Kyle, whatever happened with Bob? Bobby, Robert, Booby. Whatever happened with him? Next trial date? Well, if it doesn't change, it will be on February 17th. Is that the pre-trial? Yeah. Um. The next, yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the 17th is the next trial, is the next um, court date. Yeah. Oh, that person obviously has your back right there when you need him, obviously. Mm -hmm. Kyle, this Bob Matlock, isn't this someone he knows some? Isn't this somebody he knows like he's friends with or, or just knows him? Mm -hmm. Lewis, get the food out of your mouth and talk to me. Oh, I, I didn't hear you asking me. Yeah. It was from the, I, I think he knows him in casual passing growing up. Oh, yeah, that was it. So he, he reached out as a favor to see if he could get some info, and I, I guess he didn't answer him back. But yeah. I, I do I do want to uh -huh. give him a lot of credit from the, the, the sidelines. He, he's always active in answering any questions I've got. He yeah. doesn't mind. Uh, there you go, listening. Sonny. Oh, just have to ask as long as it's. Yeah, you just have to ask. Um, preferably, if it's on like, uh, you know, like off your live on Friday or Saturday, like because then my husband stays up later. <laughs> Mind you, you guys are three hours ahead of me. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Um, just have to ask, and I'll be there. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Um, there was something. Oh, Melissa said date. Date for the date. This, the January 13th is the next two hearings for Richard Allen. The 17th of, of um, February is his next other big one. Is that, that's a, is that the pretrial though? Right? Um, yeah, the 17th is the um, one I believe. I believe the 17th one is the one. Let me take a look. 17. I thought the 17th one was, the, I thought that was the gag order one, but I think, I bet it's yeah, no. two in the morning. I can't remember at this point. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, the 17th was supposed to be the gag order and the bond hearing. Yeah. But then last month they released something saying that the January was going to be the gag order. Yeah. Because the one on the 13th that was originally um, scheduled, they canceled and then they combined yeah. it with another one. And then they set the pretrial for the 17th. Because, okay. yeah, but you know what? The 17th is the pretrial because March 20th is the, is t the technically with the date the trial is supposed to start, which won't happen. Hey, but. I have no problem coming on when I'm invited. Um, last My last invite, if I'm not mistaken, Chaotic said she was going to do a Christmas live. Um, and I don't recall like that, but you didn't go live because she went live after her Christmas party, but, but it was like people that were at the Christmas party, not like YouTube. Uh, yeah. I, I'm always, I'm game for that. Is my best friend Graz going to be on it though? No, no. So oh, I guess I should let her speak. <laughs> I know. No. Uh, anyways, you guys. Lewis, happy birthday. Thank, Thank you, you guys for coming. Yeah, happy birthday. Um, Thanks, Adam. Yeah, uh, Sierra, welcome. Thank you for subscribing to Deb, Adam, and um, here. And Kyle, don't don't um, make her forget to subscribe to Just Gas Sunny or Lewis and Sunny. Woohoo. Yeah, no grass allowed. Yeah. Uh, on it. I remember yeah. catching him vaguely on that one live that you were on, member Adam? Yes. And Not, I, just, yeah. I just remember thinking. Like, if he ever wanted a female to kind of bitch slap him real hard um, with his talk and his bullshit, he got it. Oh, he would have had it. Um, well, he got it from he got it from chaotic quite a bit. He just yes, I know she was giving him like I remember watching it. Mel was talking and being like nicer somewhat. Re remember but somehow I was supposed to be the moderator according yeah. to him. Yeah, and uh, I'm and like, nice to meet you. Like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Type of thing. And, oh, you know. memories. Yeah. Memories just, in the corner know, of my eye. 
So I think Kyle's going to want to bring a guest on our Just Ask Us channel next week. He's going to come on and explain how different ways to do dishes. <gasps> Did my sister hold on one second? So, you see, I was supposed to have called my sister to help her out, but you know what? She also has to learn how to do things herself. Halt the fort there. I need to go <laughs> see if she uploaded this video. I am subscribed to her, are I not? How did I not get this notification? Um, what's her channel again? She probably oh. blocked you for not helping her. Oh, man. Well, you know what the thing is, is that <laughs> the way you learn some things is by learning them yourself. Home and creations. Trust called? me, I know. Wait, ho no, house <laughs> and home. That's what it is. House and home. There we go. Creations. If my sister put out a video, let's see. Uh, hold on. Hold on. We got to share the screen. Let's see here. I haven't looked yet. Let's surprise Why us all together here. To order. Uh, house Why isn't it good to order at 2.30 in the morning? Okay. Oh, you guys. I am so sorry, but my husband, he can wait. Who wants to stick around with me? This I have a twin sister. Her name is Tanya. Tanya. Don't mind me ordering food while you do it. Yeah. So you guys make sure if you're not subscribed, you come over here. Let me just grab her link, okay? Um, she would be so happy. She has 41 subscribers so far. She's just starting out. Um, I told her, do something you're passionate about. My sister loves to cook. She's a, oh, she can decorate. She can decorate a home. She can decorate uh, cakes and cupcakes. She's, my sister is very multi-talented, just like I am, but we are in different ways. Hers is her house and home, whereas I like creating videos and painting and stuff like that. Um, I can already give you an answer, ask you guys, until you guys give in. <laughs> Um, wait, did I not? One second here. Oh, no, I obviously didn't do it. Um, wrong thing. Where is it? Um, where's the link? Right there. I just didn't copy and paste it properly. Um, husband can wait. He can wait. He always goes to bed late anyway. Let me come back here. I got to see this. Again, if you guys could love me and for my twin sister, and she's 10 minutes older, by the way. Her name is Tanya. Um, uh, this is our first video. So if you guys could leave some, like watch it with me and then maybe leave some really nice comments, lie to her basically. Okay. I mean, I don't like lying whatsoever. Um, but no, you guys are probably going to love this. So hold on. I haven't seen it. And thank you for letting me know this. This is, uh, How long is it? uh it's 18 minutes. Oh, oh, cool. oh, there she is. Okay. Let's see what she's doing. Strawberry rhubarb. Let's bake some stuff. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Wait, why is her voice so low? My name is Tanya, and today we will be making my version of a simple strawberry shortcake, which can be made at any time of the year with Barely different hear her. varieties of cakes and different types of fillings. But we're going to keep it simple today with a basic strawberry rhubarb vanilla shortcake. So let's get started. All of the ingredients that you need are labeled Our on the first back video people basic remember this cake mix packaging uh, this is a vanilla cake mix so we're going to go ahead and prepare it as per the instructions on the box yes yes go on pour your bag of mix into the bowl hold on actually you know what um we're not going to watch all of it because because she'll get um, if, you choose. if you guys go to actually watch the video. I tend to prefer milk. So we'll watch a little bit of it. A bit of a creamier um, consistency. Yes, yes, go on. Half a cup of vegetable oil. We don't look alike. We're fraternal twins, by the way. Oh, it's Haley, let's give her a oranges. like. Let's give her a like, people. Um, where's the like button? There we go. And don't forget to hit share. Share, share it around so that other people see it so that she can be proud that a lot of people are watching her first video. Uh, that would make things a little bit easier if you have a handheld mixer. Okay, hold on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're speeding up so fast. Tanya. Oh, you're here already. That I'm going to build Amazing. my cake on. Um, and then I can present this on another plate or whatever. But it just gives a stable. Okay, here we go. Be, uh, looking short cake. But in this case, because this is a jam and I'll take it's us a little off. bit more... Um, 
loose, okay. I'm going to, I'm not going to go all the way to the edges because I don't want it to drip over. Although it is a rustic cake, so that would be fine as well. So there's the start of our first layer. Take a look at our whipped cream. It's just coming along. Going to increase the speed. Get it whipped up nice and thick. Will I grab a spoon? Now, again, this is my very first video, and I realized that I should probably never turn my back to the camera or leave the view of the screen, and I will get better with this over time, I'm sure. Um, this is definitely not my comfort zone filming myself to the world, um, but it is something that I definitely want to improve on. I want to share you know, some of the little tips and tricks and secrets and things that I have done over the years. She's, for a, my four she's not sunny, okay? Um, no, whether it be birthday parties, Thanksgiving, Christmas, many celebrations where I've always been um, the person, you know, in the kitchen, preparing the meals, making the desserts. And I thought this would just be a great opportunity to share some of those experiences uh, with my viewers. Um, so let me take a look at the whipped cream. And it is almost perfect. Whipped cream. I'm make sure that it is Mom. nice and thick and stable. Yeah, you'd love her, Deb, honestly. My so sister, honestly, she's amazing yeah, at this stuff. Whipped cream that's basically holding its shape. Give credit where it's due. I want to lick that right now, diabetes and all. Here we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. Tons of Nothing like real whipped cream, eh? Um, on this dessert, and especially when it's made with real whipped cream. And real. So whipped. now that we have our first layer co compiled, we want to take our whipped cream and just dollop that on there. Give a nice healthy dollop and just spread it around. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm. And this will form the center of our cake. Uh, you can use as much or as little as you like. Oh, I want this so bad. It's whipped cream, right? And then once oh, you yeah. place the next layer on top. I have some ready whip in my fridge. Oh, no, no, no. It has to be the real stuff. You have to share. You have to do it the right way. That's, oh, my God. That's the best. Level it up. Mm. I I've, done it. It. I've done it the right way. I do it there with dream work when I'm cheaping out. That looks perfect. But I love real whipped cream, especially on pumpkin pie. I like to do is take my le next layer. And because this is the layer that had the top over it that I uh, broke down, I do like to flip it over just to have a flat edge for the next level. So as you can see, we're starting to build up our shortcake. Just give it a slight press down, let some of the jam and the if you guys gain weight watching this, it's not my fault. Edges a little bit. Everything's your fault tonight. The exact same thing over again. <laughs> yeah. Lisa. Uh, this is uh, Tanya's channel. This is not Paula. This is not this, the um, evil witch, evil witch of the West. For, uh, Valentine's Day, where I actually colored the, the vanilla cake pink and then used red for the jam. That was funny, was though. Beautiful. So you can get as creative as you want. Um, now again, I'm going to take the next layer, flip that one over, that on. Oh my God, I'm going over to my sister's house tomorrow. It's starting to look. Okay, so we're going to take Oh, you guys, trust me, you would love to come to her house for the holidays. <laughs> okay. It's beautiful. That looks fantastic. See, so I'm so glad if she does this eight. because I just love my sister, my twin, and I... I just wanted her to do things that she loves and she's so really she's amazing at doing stuff like this like honestly I, i'm not being braggadocious for no reason she's just really good at it look at that it's that's freaking the eiffel tower getting built right there oh i'm just another layer See, I cheated. I went to the end, so I know what it looks like. Don't do that. 
little bugger. Edges just to give some nice clean edge. Yes. Uh, three people dropped off. Get back here. It's almost over, guys. So let's keep moving that around. Yeah, my husband's sending it back. Oh, one second. I got to yell. I just use a spoon. You could use whatever you like to spread. Um, obviously, right. Most people have. Yeah, I'll, I'll do our dishes well, for the cake. But I just find the That's funny. Just as easy, the back of a spoon. I won't do the dishes, but I'll eat it. Versatile. Okay. So now we have the top of. That's our a cake. CN tower. That's funny. And again, you can do whatever you want. If you want to try to make some nice design on the top you could put it in a piping bag can i dox her and put out her address you guys can all like race over to canada um i'm not going to do that i'm just going to leave it very rustic and simple um so obviously i need to tell her that she's turn up her volume is now that we have our cake. we're all going to surprise her right yeah go up there for the next party hey Louis, you don't know this but i told her to make you a birthday cake and it's in canada so you better come and get it if that works yeah, I didn't know that this was going to happen. My, to my surprise, my sister, she's reading my mind. And then what I will do is I will take my Hershey Kisses and I will just adorn the edges. How long of a drive is it? Uh, five minutes, depending on traffic. With the Hershey Kisses. And that's really... Well, then there's no excuse for you not to be Hershey. down in Delphi on Friday. Simple, easy, delicious, fresh. And you will not disappoint anybody with this dessert. I promise you that. Okay, so that case, she's doing it that way this time. Gotcha. Whoops. Hey, where did it go? So that was the end of it? Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Look at her. She's getting all good and everything like that. Hi, oh. guys. Today is oh. all about a strange and kind of underrated item. Whew. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, again. And then that would have been your example of the person that's like, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, wait till, like I said, my, the stuff that my sister can create, just wait till somebody's birthday coming up and stuff like that. Like I said, or what she does, because her, her work is truly, like I said, amazing what she can do. Um, she makes great dinners. This is where her and Lewis were having a big old the other live where they're both going, ooh. Chicken breasts, uh, and then, <laughs> you know. But anyways, because my sister is definitely she, you know, she was, she would love, she loves to cook, but you know, I mean, her young ones are getting older and stuff like that, and you know, it's not like she has that special someone and stuff. Like, thanks, chaotic. Yeah. Um, again, um, I'm sorry, you guys. That talent just runs in the family like this stuff. It's just crazy. Call me silly. But anyways, no, she's, you know. As much as I could do the stuff that she does, um, it's not really that. Like I love it. I love looking at it. I can do it, but I prefer to paint or create videos and stuff like that. Now, putting it in my mouth is a whole different story. I can do that, no problem whatsoever. Um, anyways, the uh, very nice. Where's her link? Oh, okay. I just had. Let me see if I still have it in my thing. It's right here. Okay, you guys. So anyone watching this video. If you guys could go watch my sister's video, check it out. Um, don't scoot to the end, you know, like watch it from the full thing. You got to appreciate nothing worse. Right. Yeah, I got to appreciate. Well, mind you, you kind of got to watch it if you want to watch what she's doing. Blah, blah, blah. Thing. Anyways, you guys, I appreciate you guys staying with me, supporting my twin sister as well, supporting Chaotic Beauties that's in the house and Deb and Aspen and just ask a Lewis and Sunny channel um yeah great job she'll appreciate any nice comments that you could leave below for her as well um right I, me and my twin are very opposite you don't need to motivate me i can motivate myself my sister my sister you know would make her feel really good uh she is she is more in a, she definitely is way more of an introvert than i am like 95 percent different um so for her to her to be able to do this was like a feat okay um she's not she she's not camera confident and she can take great pictures she's a great photographer but she's not camera confident so she could uh use all the love and support um again you know to give her that uh you know girl power powerpuff chips you know how it goes right. 
Thank you guys so much. You know what I, you know what I just noticed, Sunny? Our thumbnail for this live says 9.15 Eastern Standard Time. It would have been 12.15. <laughs> but, oh. yeah, we were live, so people figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> I just I now noticed it. Oh. oh. Right, 9.15, because it was my time. It was your time. I always do that. And, yes, um, I, I love my um, twin very much. She's, uh, <laughs> like I said, I, I only want... For people that I care about, you know, in a sense, or anyone that that listens to uh, one of our, uh, you know, lives and stuff like that, there's people that send me emails, and I really do love it when they say that because of watching this show, it helped build them and give them strength, or brought them out of their shell and stuff like that. I want the same in turn for my sister, and just like I want Deb's channel to grow and Adam's channel to grow and stuff like that, and this channel to grow, um, and chaotic over there. Like I said, our, our Mel's channel, Cold Truth. Uh, just the different people that we love and care about, CD and all that. Um, oh, yeah. it, it really does. My sister. Um, yeah. So. I mean, she doesn't, again, I don't I don't need, you know, like I, I can motivate myself and I can do things myself. I don't have a problem with public or, or just um, being in the middle of a crowd. Um, this, for my sister to make this video, I know very much how much she hates being on camera uh, because she's used to the old us. Um, when I say the old us, I'm talking about the thinner version of us. Um, and so it's very hard for her anyway to be on camera um, because it's just hard. Some people get anxieties and stuff. So I really commend her for me ignoring her for a couple of days because I knew that she would figure it out. And I'm so glad and so proud of her for seeing this first video that she did and she got it. So that's great. That's awesome. Because now she'll take it and run with it. And, and that makes me truly happy. Um, do do what you yeah. love, love what you do. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you, Lisa. Lisa, if you dare to say your sister is beautiful, more beautiful than you, that I would have approved of. Not pop that off. Yeah. Um, not, not. Lewis, are you getting cold? Lewis, do you need a snuggies? What's up? Do you need a snuggies? Do you need a snuggle? Lewis, no. Lewis, are you getting cold? Is he going? Brrr. I think he is. I think he's lying to us because he put on his hoodie earlier. Anyways, you guys, mm. um, again, I mean, that was great. I can hardly wait till one of another videos comes out and stuff like that. Thank you for joining the live. Again, yeah. please like and subscribe. Um, oh, go ahead, Adam. And, you know, and, and because of what we talked about on your Ask um, Lewis and Sunny channel earlier tonight about how to, you know, like, you know, our goals for eating and things like that, um, I would just like you to know that my mcdonald's order is on its way and it will be here in approximately nine minutes so lewis lewis yes. adam is gonna, <laughs> i'm just gonna eat for you for your birthday and my sister made a cake for you that's in canada as we speak um if there's only crumbs by the time it gets you sorry that's um, okay. yeah uh but anyways it not look so good though so i love i love strawberry shortcake sometimes you just buy those little um the little, uh, what do you want to call them? Pastries, you know, um, the sponge cakes, and then yeah. you just throw your strawberries in there, mm -hmm. syrup, mm -hmm. and, you know, the whipped cream on top, and just something like that is perfect as well. But, well, that was diabetes heaven right there, wasn't it? Yeah. So how many how many burgers is Adam gonna eat for dinner? <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Zero. Um, I had I, lots of burgers. I actually, or I did order actually. Um, I did order two. Um. Um, burgers with no meat on them. Because I have some, I have some vegetarian um, issues. Stuff, uh, mm -hmm. stuff that I can put on there. Mm -hmm. Keep with my basket of French fries. Mm -hmm. I thought they had a, a vegetarian burger now. Not anymore. Or not, not McDonald's does not yet. Oh no! Okay. They're, they're like in the process of creating one with Beyond Meat, but so, but you know, the fast food places you have to be careful because a lot of times they still. Throw it on the same grill. Yeah, same, the same grill. You got to worry about that. Okay. Um, right, but, love you guys, yeah. but I got to go because husband is like 11.30. But thank you guys for sharing and joining us on the live tonight. Again, please hit that um, uh, the like and the share button if you could and subscribe to everything that we told you to. Please. Because uh, you love us, right? Uh, right. Again, Lisa, I'll see you in the morning for my dishes. <laughs> thank, right. thank Carol. Carol, I appreciate the, the birthday wishes too. Yeah. Happy birthday from down under. And uh, you're, <laughs> over 50, you're over 50, by the way. Okay. 
So take care, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. See you tomorrow night. Good night, um, everybody. Take care. Bye.